Assalamu alaikum, may peace be upon you. This is chapter two from the Holy Quran. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Alif Lam Mim. This is the book. There is no doubt in it. It is a guide for those who are mindful of God, who believe in the unseen and are steadfast in prayer and spend out of what we have provided them with. Those who believe in the revelation sent down to you and in what was sent down before you and firmly believe in the life to come, they are the people who are rightly following their Lord. And it is they who shall be successful. As for those who are bent on denying the truth, it makes no difference to them whether you warn them or not. They will not believe. God has sealed their hearts and their ears and over their eyes there's a covering. They will have a terrible punishment. There are some who say, we believe in God in the last day, yet they are not believers. They seek to deceive God and the believers, but they only deceive themselves, though they do not realize it. In their hearts is a disease which God has increased. They will have a painful punishment because they have been lying. When they are told, do not cause corruption in the land, they say, we are only promoters of peace, but it is they who are really causing corruption, though they do not realize it. And when they are told, believe as other people have believed, they say, are we to believe just as fools believe? Surely they are the fools, even though they do not realize it. When they meet those who believe, they say, we believe, but when they are alone with their evil leaders, they say, we are really with you. We were only mocking. God will requite them for their mockery and draw them on for a while to wander blindly in their insolence. Such are those who have taken misguidance in exchange for guidance, but their bargain does not profit them, nor have they found true guidance.